Hey, this is Mike of Real Black TV, and I wanted to take a moment to thank you for finding our channel and encourage you to subscribe. I know a lot of you have discovered us through our ongoing interviews with uh, Baba Dick Gregory and our classic interviews with Mr. Paul Mooney, but there's so many other things on the channel that I just want to take a, a few moments to highlight some of the stuff that you'll find here. Comedians, I love comedy, and since we started in 2007, We've um, amassed a, a large library of interviews with black comedians. Some of the clips that are classics on the channel include uh, our, our interview with the late, great Patrice O'Neill. Uh, there's a, a clip on there, Who is Chris Rock, which is a film that I did while I was a student at New York University back in 1989. And that's the earliest documentary that you'll find on Chris Rock. And a lot of things he says in there are very prophetic. Where do I see myself five years from now? Hopefully, God willing, I'm doing big concerts five years from now. That's where I hope to be. And I'm, hopefully I have like some deal with it. I have a deal with HBO now, but I hope hopefully it gets broader. I, I would like to do like a lot of cable specials. One of my favorites that I urge you to check out is Tommy Davidson's interview. We've talked to a lot of people that were involved in Deaf Comedy Jam and Living Color. You know, I, I really like Tommy Davidson's, uh, what he has to say. One of the things I got out of being raised by white people is that, you know, the majority of white people don't have that mentality. Um, it was their forefathers that had that. But they benefit from the practices of their forefathers. That's all. It's just like me as a man. I'm not a sexist man, but I benefit from living in a sexist society. Because I automatically get paid more than a woman would get paid, you know. That's not me being sexist, that's the benefic I'm the beneficiary of a system that's sexist. Right. See? Howard that was some deep, right that was pretty heavy duty, wasn't it? Real Black TV is also the only place that you're gonna find many lectures from Charles Woods, AKA the professor, as I like to call him. Uh, you know, he breaks it down. You know, you, you may be a fan of black cinema, black film, but this gentleman, he spent over 50 years studying black film. He's got an encyclopedic knowledge of black film and we will be adding more clips, more mini lectures with uh, Charles Woods as we and go on. He's someone different. He's someone unique. There's a more civilized nature to him. He's that noble Negro, that noble savage, that magic Negro. Also on the channel, you're gonna find a lot of great music, exclusive clips that you're not gonna find anywhere else. Uh, we have the largest catalog of, of performances by musicians that made their name at the Black Lily, which include Kindred the Family Soul. There's a great documentary on the channel, Jazzy Fat Nasties in Process, that I'm sure you'll enjoy. As well as early performances by people from Philly like John Legend and Jasmine Sullivan. So, another reason to subscribe. But you can tell from the name, the main interest of this channel is to advance the culture of black film. So on this channel, you'll find exclusive interviews with the pioneers of black film, such as Melvin Van Peebles, Robert Downey Sr., Spike Lee, Harry Belafonte, Ruby Dee. But you'll also find interviews from the next wave of filmmakers, people like Ava DuVernay, Justin Simeon, Issa Rae. And finally, you'll also find award-winning films that I've written or produced or directed. Um, most notably would be The 13th Amendment, a five-minute piece that I did with my grandmother on the eve of Obama's election in 2008, which won the uh, CNN iReport Film Festival. Okay, well, Mike, you know what? I hope you like surprises. Can we get a drum roll, please? <laughs> we didn't tell you. But you are the grand jury winner of the I Report Film Festival. Congratulations. You're kidding me. No. <laughs> hey, all right, well, I have to thank you and congratulate my grandmother. You know, obviously, if it weren't for her, you know, there wouldn't have been a film. And, and hopefully people continue to check out the film because she really appreciates the comments. <laughs> OK, come on. Did you have any idea? It's, it's felt good. I mean, I felt good. The whole process has been great. And I mean, I, us calling you and saying, hey, can we get you on? Can you get it to a studio? Can you join us by webcam? You had no idea. I'm a Phillies fan. I, I don't believe anything until I see it. <laughs> Please subscribe. Please tell your friends. Please watch, 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 watch. And uh, share the videos, you know. But don't copy them onto your other page.
you know, because that, that hurts our revenue. But thank you again for watching. Thanks for taking the time to watch this little primer on Real Black, What is Real Black?